Hey everyone, welcome to another video. And this time, it is... Hmm, my cousin just moved into this house like a week ago. It costs... <coughs> the rent is like three eighty a month, which for some places is totally great. Like, it's the best rent ever. Like, if you find a house like that, either something's really horrible with it or for some reason they're doing it really cheap. Well, in this case... The area we live in is like minimum rent for not government subsidized or anything is three fifty. Well, it would be a good deal for this house, except for there's some problems and the landlord's already trying to evict them after one week. Which they're on the lease them too, plus well, my cousin and her boyfriend, and then his cousin or something, I don't know. Well, the landlord just wants to evict my cousin and her boyfriend, which I don't think you can do legally here. We're talking about Kentucky, which is where my cousin lives, mind you. So, okay. The landlord is saying they broke the lease by having a junk truck on the yard that doesn't run. Well, guess what? It does. It just kind of looks ugly like most vehicles in this area because we live in an area that's mostly you know, social security, disability, you know, fixed income people. So, if it don't need to be fixed, it ain't getting fixed. And even if it needs to be fixed, that doesn't guarantee it'll be fixed. Y'all wouldn't question this if you saw my house or other people's houses because we can't afford to fix it around here. Anyway, but, but the truck does run anyway. Um, the landlord also wants to kick them out because they have kids. Uh, the person didn't know they had kids. But there's nothing in the lease saying they can't have kids. And the other two houses, like right next door, that the same person owns, guess what? All of them have kids. They're not getting kicked out, but my cousin is. Which my cousin, of course, is going to fight it. And apparently the landlord, lady, whatever, it doesn't matter, um, has a thing against them kissing outside and the kids playing outside, which makes no sense. I mean, the other two houses have two kids. Why? Why? What? 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 I don't get it. It's it's stupid. I think she's just having renters, whatever, landlords, remorse, whatever. And here's the funny part. And it's proof that she's lying. Not my cousin's landlord, lady, whatever. I say lord, it's a female. Um, supposedly she called out housing, the housing authority. And they gave a bad reference for my cousin. My cousin has never lived in housing. She has never signed a lease with them. She stayed a few days with her cousin. That's it. So, I'm thinking something that rhymes with which, but it comes after lying, in case y'all were wondering. Because, I mean, lying is what really bothers me. I mean, because she can have problems with that other stuff. It, it isn't really right. To evict my cousin in my opinion but yeah but here's the thing if it got out what her house actually looks like you know what's on the inside because people are stupid and get desperate no one would move in there because my cousin could probably call the code enforcement and they'd come and be like ha 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 you're gonna have to fix up this place you can't you can't rent it because we're gonna talk about problems now I have a piece of paper over here by the way in case y'all want to know um, the house leaks in various places. There's a window broken. Right by the air conditioner, too, which is weird. Which the air conditioner shakes the entire wall. Like, you can feel it in the floor, but whatever. The toilet leaks at the bottom. Which, that probably just needs a new seal down there, but still. The basement floods, and the basement is like something out of a horror movie, I'm telling you. Like, you know, there's some nice basements. This one just looks like... The house has been abandoned for decades, and this is what you get. It's disgusting down there, and there's carpet on the stairs going down there, and it floods. No! Okay, they covered a doorway with a wall-like thing, and I don't really understand this because I didn't see this part myself. And if you, it moves. It moves a lot. So it's like crappy wall, I guess. I don't know. Um, the kitchen and living room light both have shorts in them. Like, you have to go do-do-do-do-do-do-do, and magically it might turn on. 
Just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, look, it's on. Don't touch it anymore. Don't touch it. You'll never get it back on. Um, the porch light doesn't work at all. So it's pitch black out there because there's like no street light near there except for at the corner, which is kind of far from the house. Let's see. And I think there's a hole in a wall. I don't know if it's a big hole because I, I just remember them telling me about it. Um, oh, and the best part that n the landlord didn't talk to them about and they haven't got to find out themselves. A uh, previous tenant told them. There's a heater in the living room. It's gas. And it's pretty nice looking. I mean, it looks nice. It catches on fire when used. Yeah. 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 I think maybe the landlord wants his house to burn. Personally, since he didn't even tell. Well, she. There's a guy involved that's married to the woman, but whatever. They didn't tell either of them about this. Sounds nice and safe, doesn't it? Yeah. And then there's also the kitchen, where the refrigerator or freezer randomly stops working. But... Part of the lease was if that went out, they would have to just buy another fridge. They're screwed. You know what I mean? So. I think this landlady person is just crazy. Um, my cousin's going to fight the eviction, of course, because she told her to get a legal one and then she'll get out. Um, personally, I think my cousin should be able to get her money back. Because they signed the lease. You need to cover all that stuff before you sign it. If you don't want kids, put can't have kids in the lease. It's that simple. So, what do y'all think about all this? Especially that gas heater catching on fire. That could kill someone. Um, do any of y'all have any advice for my cousin? Because all I know is other than going through the court system, which could take months... I don't know what else she can do because she hasn't broke the lease. Um, I argue that maybe she could say the landlord broke the lease by all the problems. I think my cousin should call code enforcement. What do y'all think? What do you think my cousin should do? What do you think this landlady should do? Maybe stop renting? That would that would probably be a good thing. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.